Hey everyone, happy dude here with a short video. Uh, so my LiPo battery does not want to charge anymore. And no, it's not too old. But I left my LiPo battery from Traxxas in my DRX4 Ford Bronco like this. And yes, I switched it off, but apparently that's not enough. If you leave it connected like this, it will still drain your battery. So always disconnect. I tried a few times, even on different settings, but it was always the same result. The charger starts up and after two seconds, it stops. The charger is like, nope, I'm not charging that. And that's because the voltage in the LiPo is too low. Then the charger thinks that the battery is not good anymore. So I tried to put it on NIMH instead of LiPo, but it doesn't want to do that. Because it's a Traxxas battery and there's a chip in there, so the charger knows it's a LiPo. Now, if your LiPo battery is a few years old and the surface is not flat anymore, but uh, curved, then it is time to buy a new LiPo battery. Also, it will feel uh, very soft if you press it. Then you also know it's dangerous to reuse it. A good battery should be completely flat and very hard. So I've used my good old fashioned quick charger for nickel batteries, but it has a Tamiya plug. So that's not going to fit. So I had to buy another cable. Here it is. This will fit in the Traxxas connector. Make sure positive and negative is correct. It should fit and it does. Now, all you have to do is put it on the lowest setting, one amp, and then put it in the power grid for two minutes. That should be enough. And then after that, you can put it back in the Traxxas charger and normally it should start up. All right, let's see. One, two. It works. Normally it would have shut down by now. I'm not sure, but I think that when the voltage drops below 5 volts, the charger doesn't want to charge the battery anymore. So mine was at 3.5 volts. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and maybe subscribe to see more videos. And you all have a nice day now. Bye!